What's up out there? This is Ice-T, you know what I'm saying, nigga? I've been putting this shit down for about 18 years. Chopping game, let motherfuckers know what this is all about. A lot of motherfuckers out there still don't want to listen. They seem to think they, they know better than me, but I really don't understand how. This is, I mean, honestly, the brag I done put down on these records for all these years. If I was lying, if I was full of shit, if what I saying wasn't true, by now my game would have been challenged. Somebody would have stepped up out of South Central LA and said, come on with that bullshit, Ice. But you're never going to hear nobody call me a fake because your shit is real as the history of your father and mother. A lot of you niggas out here running pimp and player and hustler and connect that to your names and all that kind of shit. I'm going to break it down for you. If you have never had a woman out on the street doing the act of prostitution in a house of prostitution, uh, 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 escort service, or actually out on the track and bringing you all the money, you cannot use the word pimp. You are not a pimp, okay? You understand what I'm saying? You are not a motherfucking pimp, and you have never pimped because you have never checked money from a hoe. So don't try to use that because you insult motherfuckers that do that. And so don't try to use that word in your motherfucking vocabulary because you ain't no pimp. You ain't big pimping. You live in a lifestyle of what you think pimps live, but you really ain't no motherfucking pimp. You understand me? You, you might be a player. Now, if you claim you're a motherfucking player and, and the girls that you roll with and you hustle with and maybe you having sex here and there with don't know that you do that and they don't know that you know each other, that, that you get down like that and they don't know that you have more than one girlfriend and, and, and on different occasions they all kick it together and roll with you, then you ain't even no player. You's a cheater. You ain't even a real player. You's a cheater. And since you want sex so much, you ain't nothing but a trick because you're probably paying for it. So get these motherfucking words right. You claim you're a hustler. You're out there using the word hustler. But let me tell you, back in high school when the, when the coach told you to hustle, he meant run some motherfucking bleachers. He meant take another lapse, nigga. So if you ain't out here catching a motherfucking sweat, you ain't hustling. You bullshitting with the game. That's why you're broke. And before you claim you're a top shelf player, you know what I'm saying? Really, man, in order to be real in this game, you got to have a bankroll to go along with your motherfucking mouth. Now, I advise motherfuckers to stay away from this pimp game. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to go sell some dope. You know what I'm saying? Because a, a key of dope won't wake up in the motherfucking middle of the night and shoot you in the motherfucking chest or something you said earlier to it that day. You know what I'm saying? This game ain't for everybody out there. You know, just because you watch the NBA every week does not mean you can slam dunk. Like my man Iverson, it don't happen. I don't give a fuck if you're six feet or seven feet. Don't mean you can slam the goddamn ball. So you can listen to this game and wish and pray. But unless you got them bones, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got it in you, if you wasn't a nigga in junior high that the girls was braiding their hair, and by high school they was doing your homework and carrying your books, if you ain't that kind of nigga, then it ain't gonna happen for you. You can't just wake up one morning and go to the gym and get you some muscles and become a motherfucking pimp. Now I'm gonna give y'all some rules of the game. Rule one. The only way you ever gonna pimp a bitch is you gotta get your. You can't, you just can't make no bitch. You can't pimp down on no bitch. Like walk up to some bitch and say, oh, oh, you finna be my hoe and you finna give me some money. That's not gonna happen. Bitch got to choose you. Bitch has to look at you and say, this is the man I wanna be down with. I'ma do whatever it takes to be down with that man. Now that may sound far-fetched, but niggas, you say that every time you see a girl. You look at a fine-ass woman like Mariah Carey, you say, I give her all my money. So what's so outrageous when a woman sees that? She sees a man says, you, I'll give that man all my money. And it happens every day, brother. You gotta get chose. You wear the right clothes, you get chose with your mouth closed. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, now rule two, you gotta stand on what you say. If you say something, then you got to do that, man. If you say, okay, well, I'm finna get out here and I'm gonna get this money from these girls. You know, working a hoe is just like working a dope sack. You get up in the morning, you know where the fuck she is, you know how much money she got. Believe me, you ain't gonna pimp on no hoe and send her back to her mama every night. That ain't how it goes. They, the bitch is gonna be up in your area, man. You can keep track of your sack. You dig what I'm saying? Rule three, any pimp gotta be his best hoe. You can't have no bitch weren't thinking, oh, well, you know, if I, if I don't have you, baby, then I'm going to be without. No, bitch, I'm going to give me another bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ain't going to be no motherfuck motherfucking problems with me, bitch. I'm in, I'm in demand. You know what I'm saying? This pimping is in demand. And you better get with this. And you, you getting lucky to have a player of this caliber to have you and hold you down like this. Now, bitch, if, the, if you can't show the bitch you can get the money without her, then the bitch is going to realize she's in control. And that's when shit's going to get real fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Bottom line, 99% of these bitches, they know how to pimp. They pimp on you every day when they pimp on you to take you. When you say, yo, uh, take me out to dinner. And when they say, ooh, buy me this. And this is what I want. And they touch you on your ear. And they get it, whatever the fuck they they want out of you because they wave pussy in front of you. But most of you niggas out there want to fuck so bad. Point blank. 
you ain't gonna fuck your way to no money, you know? You ain't gonna fuck your way to no money, you know what I'm saying? It ain't gonna work like that, bitch. This shit's going straight down in a motherfucking hoe's mind. And she wants to do it more than anything in this world, you know what I'm saying? Now, as far as I've gone in my career, you know what I'm saying? I done pimped toes, I done robbed banks, I done been around drug dealers and hustles. I'm not a dope dealer, you dig what I'm saying? But I take money from a dope dealer, no problem. It ain't no motherfucking puzzle with ice motherfucking tea and ain't a nigga walking the streets ever said something to me and didn't feel pain behind that shit you dig so i'm real i turned the p into a g like it ain't a motherfucking thing you know what i'm saying so we keep this shit gangster and, and, and all you niggas out there watching me now they say oh well, ice t you doing television this is called elevation motherfucker this is taking it to the next game like kenny ivy said there's only gonna be pimps and hoes in this game right now i'm out here trying to get these money niggas i'm not fucking with that penitentiary and when you ready to elevate then maybe you may have to be a hoe right now i'm Hoeing for NBC, you know what I'm saying? But I only hoe for top pimps, and they gonna have a grip, and they gonna be able to offer me a grip for my work and my services. Then I take that money, and I pimp myself. And all you haters, I'ma tell you like this. I feel real sad for you. You cats to sit back and watch brothers who take the initiative out to play the game and try to try to put themselves in the game, and you just wanna sit back and talk shit about them. That's really foul, you know, I'm out on the streets day to day Brothers showing me mad love, they see me walking the streets, they show me love But if I look at you and I throw the peace sign up at you And you don't throw the peace sign back What are you saying, war? What is that ice grill about? Why are you looking at me like that? Why do you have such a distaste for me? You know what I'm saying? And that's what a, a hater really gotta ask himself Why do, do I, you know why? Cause y'all niggas hate yourself you hate yourself for what you can't do When you see that player come through the motherfucking door With the three girls on his arm And his car is outside looking real fly And he done it and he's got money to burn And you say, man, I can't even get one bitch This nigga got three bitches, five cars You can't help it, you so envious that you just hate And you gonna die, motherfucking hater and I, and I hope you rest in hell, a fucking hater You know what I'm saying? But all the players that listen to this album And want some of the game Because the only way you're gonna get game to learn it from another player this shit ain't taught in no books so those of you that got any bit of game from this whether it's learning that you got to move from state to state or just find where you get in where you fit in good luck with the game nobody can teach you how to pimp a hoe because it's something that damn near has to happen by it's like magic it's the closest game to magic and maybe you shouldn't be pimping a hoe i advise most of you niggas to stay away from the pimp game out of every thousand players only one will be a true pimp you know so stay clear of that one but you know the best hustle is a legit hustle if you can get your game together and take the same street initiative that you use to go out there and sell them drugs or do whatever the hell you do and then you turn that onto something legit you get paid just as easy bypassing the penitentiary that's what i'm trying to do this iced tea pimps up for life you know what i'm saying and please god say do not use that word pimp in vain, man. You ain't never checked no money from a hoe. You ain't no pimp. If you ain't got your bitches together and they know how you get down, you ain't no player. All right? Every man cannot accept whole money. If a girl goes out and she's stripping for money, she can't get a boyfriend that's going to say, baby, don't do that. I'll go get the money. She needs a man that's going to accept what she's chosen to do and help her and motivate her. You know what I'm saying? And all we are is like a credit union. You know, we take all the money, put it all together, and do bigger things, and make things happen. And these 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 women get they get they respect in a pimp way. You know what I'm saying? They get they respect in in a pimp's way. You know, and uh, every woman ain't no hoe. You know, and every man ain't no pimp. But it's a hard job, and everybody can't do it. You know, you cats out there can't keep one girlfriend. Can't can't even. Keep a, a good going relationship with one girlfriend. So what makes you think you can have three or four and five chicks that are basically thieves, scandalous, downright dirt street asshole hustlers live together in a, in, in, a, in, a, in a respectable way and all of them work together and love you. This is some this is this is something far beyond the realm of the average male's ability. And that's why hoes seek out pimps, because they like Superman. They beyond the normal cat. And player, let me tell you. If a pimp is ever getting at your bitch, you are dealing with the worst enemy you've ever had in your life. Because I'm going to mack your bitch down on a level of 10 men. I'm going to give the bitch brain damage. Might leave her in a motherfucking coma. You understand? And when I'm finished talking to her, nothing you say is going to sound fly ever again. You understand? Nothing. Because she going to hear the fly shit she ever heard in her life. 
Yo, all I got to say that if you niggas been listening to this album and this shit is fascinating you and mesmerizing you and you listening to the tape over and over again just to listen to the way these niggas flip it, you know, imagine what this does to a bitch. Imagine what this shit does to a bitch. Please, this is the coldest game ever, man. The pimp game. You just been listening to the pimp penal code. Rules of the game.